Hey guys, so we have a new extended trailer for House of the Dragon. So even with the disaster that Game of Thrones Season 8 was, I'm still pretty excited for this because the Targaryens were definitely one of my favourite parts of Game of Thrones. And look, even as bad as some parts of this trailer do look, it's still going to be a lot better than the Lord of the Rings Rings of Power show. So at least there's that. I don't know, look... This could be a disaster, this could be another season 8 sort of situation or it could surprise us and I'm going to try to be positive and think that maybe this will be better than expected. I do have an issue with the fact that the Valerian family are dark, not because I don't want diversity, I'm fine with there being a different, you know, different nationalities in House of the Dragon, that's not my problem. I just want it to be true to the books and in the books the Targaryens and the Valerians that have been marrying each other for who knows how long, they're extremely racist people. They're not good people by and large, they're racist. They want their house to be pure dragon blood so they're not going to go and, you know, marry other people and dilute the dragon blood so that just seems a little bit yeah I don't know I'm gonna wait for the show to come out like I said and give it the benefit of the doubt but either way I think so far it looks like it's better than like we saw the photos when it first started to shoot and all the wigs looked really really cheap but in post-production, they actually do look pretty good. The cinematography, the dragons all look pretty good. So without further ado, let's go watch the video and then I'll tell you my thoughts afterwards. It looks amazing, I think. The set design, the cinematography. That of your succession. The Iron Throne is the most dangerous seat in the realm. No one is vulnerable. Too easily ended. But who else would have a claim? The firstborn child, Rhaenyra. No queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. The king has an heir, Daemon Targaryen. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. So it's going to be Renera and Matt Smith's character, Damon, fighting for the throne, basically. Renera's succession will be challenged. Knives will come out. You are the king. Your first duty is to take a new wife. I have decided to name a new heir. A new heir. Queen. The lords of the realm bend the knee. A woman would not inherit the Iron Throne. Because that is the order of things. When I'm queen, I will create a new order. Your family has dragons. I love Matt Smith as an actor, but I just don't really see him as a Targaryen, if I'm being honest. I love that line, Targaryens are close to the gods and to men. She's cut off any challenge to her succession. I am to inherit the Iron Throne. She will block my way. Our hearts remain as one. Our hearts will never one. So quick 
question. If you guys could let me know down below, do you like it when I talk less during trailer reactions so you can watch the trailer yourself or do you like it when I talk more? Because I always get lots of complaints when I talk a lot during the trailers, but I mean, if you want to watch it on your own without people talking, you can easily go do that. So it sort of confuses me, but anyway, just let me know down below and that would help me out a lot. But yeah, with the trailer, I think it's going to be really interesting to see the civil war between the Targaryens and I haven't read, I started to read, but I didn't finish the book. So I don't really know too much about Who's going to win? What side of the war House Valerian is on, if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> so I think it looks really good so far. Let me know down below what you think of it. Are you going to be watching this? Do you think so far, if you've read the book, that it looks like it's going to stay true to the book? Or does it look like it's taken on a life of its own? <laughs> so if you could subscribe, like, all of that stuff, it really helps me out. Thanks, guys.